In this video, we are going to focus our discussion on how to find the maturity value and compound interest compounded annually. The formula in finding the maturity value compounded annually, that is F equals P times the quantity of 1 plus R raised to T, where P is the principal or the future value, F is the maturity value or the future value at the end of the term, R is the annual rate and t is the term or the time in years and the formula in finding the compound interest that is compound interest equals future value minus principal so these are the formulas that we need to remember in order for us to find the maturity value and compound interest compounded annually so let's start and let's have an example on the first example Find the maturity value and compound interest if 10,000 is compounded annually at an interest rate of 2% in 5 years. So let us determine first the given. Since we have 10,000, 10,000 is our principal. Then we have rate that is 2%. Rate should be written in decimal. So if you have 2%, that is 0. 0 2. And then, if we have time, that is 5 years, we are looking for the future value and compound interest. So to find the future value, we are going to use the formula F or the future value equals principal times 1 plus R raised to T. And then let us substitute the value of the principal rate and Time. Principal, that is 10,000 times the quantity of 1 plus rate, that is 0 0.02 raised to 5. Then let us write 10,000 times 1, 1 plus 0 0.02, that is 1.02 raised to 5. And then 10,000 times 1.02 raised to 5, that is 1.1040808032. And then we are going to multiply this one by 10,000. Therefore, the future value is 11,040.8048. Or we can write our answer as 11,040.81. So this will be our future value. What about the compound interest? So to find the compound interest, we are going to use the formula compound interest equals future value minus principal. So our future value is 11,040.81. And then principal is 10,000. So let us subtract 11,040.81 minus 10,000. That is 1,040.81. So this will be our interest. On example number two, find the future value and interest if 50,000 is invested at 5% compounded annually for 8 years. So to find the future value, let us determine first the value of the principal rate and time. So since we have 50,000, 50,000 is our principal. Then we're going to have rate that is 5% or 0. 0 0.05 and then time that is 8 years and we are looking for the future value and compound interest. So to find the future value, we are going to use the formula F equals principal times 1 plus R raised to T. Principal is 50,000 times 1 plus rate that is 0 0.05 raised to 8. Then we're going to have 50,000 
times 1 plus 0 0.05, that is 1.05 raised to 8. And then let us raise 1.05 by 8. So let us write 50,000. 1.05 raised to 8, that is 1.4774554438. And then let us multiply this one by 50,000. So our future value is 73,872.77218945.3. Or you can write our, our final answer as 73,872.77. So this will be our future value. Now, to find the compound interest, we are going to use the formula. Compound interest equals future value minus principal. Our future value is 73,872.77 minus principal, which is 50,000. Then, to subtract, we have 73,872.77 minus 50,000. We have 23,872.77 as our interest. So this will be our answer. On our last example, suppose your father deposit in your bank account 10,000 pesos an annual interest rate of 10% compounded yearly when you graduate from kindergarten and did not get the amount until you finish grade 12. How much will you have in your bank account after 12 years? So in this problem, we are looking for the future value. And let us also include the interest. So to find the future value and interest, let us determine first the value of principal. Principal will be 10,000 pesos. Then, rate that is 10% or 0 0.10. And then time will be 12 years. So to find the future value, that is future value equals P, times 1 plus r raised to t. Then, principal will be 10,000 times the quantity of 1 plus rate that is 0 0.10 raised to 12. So, let us add this one, but let us write first 10,000. 1 plus 0 0.10, that is 1.1 or 1.10 raised to 12. Then, let us raise 1.10 by 12. So let us have first 10,000. 1.10 raised to 12, that is 3.13842837677. And then let us multiply this one by 10,000 to find the future value. So let us multiply this one. So we're going to have 31,000. 384.283767 Then, let us simplify our answer as 31,384.28 So this will be our future value Then, to find compound interest Let us use the formula future value minus principal our future value is 31,384.28 minus the principal, which is 10,000. So we're going to have 21,384.28. So this will be the interest after 12 years. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.